All right, so the answer choice of this are kind of long. That might mean that it's a harder question. So use that as you're trying to decide what questions to work on in the hard module and the time is running short. But obviously we're gonna give it a shot. It's the overall structure of the text. So I'm just kind of reading this thinking, you know, is there anything that stands out? Is there any like dumb summary I can write as I go? Raymond Antrobus, an accomplished poet and writer of prose, recently released his debut spoken word poetry album, The First Time I Wore Hearing Aids, in collaboration with producer Ian Brennan. The album contains both autobiographical and reflective pieces, combining Antrobus's spoken words with Brennan's fragmented audio elements and pieces of music to convey how people who are deaf may experience sound, both its presence and absence. It's a long sentence, but uh, if I have to care, uh, care about one word, it's the word combining. Two people's things are combining. Um, continuing, some critics uh, suggest that the album questions the function of sound in the world, highlighting that the experience of sound is multifaceted. So the critics, right? There's a lot of hard words in here, but um, remember, it's as with the overall structure of the text. So the fact that some critics are saying something is probably more important than what they're saying. But let's see. Uh, so overall structure, it introduces a collaborative spoken word poetry project. Feels like it does that, right? I mean, it's talking about the spoken word poetry thing. It seems generally to be collaborative, I guess. It says the word collaboration, so it's a good sign. Details the approach taken to produce the work. Okay, so what is the approach? I'd want to answer that question, but let's put that aside for now. Maybe generally seems like it's maybe doing that. And then provides an example of a critique uh, the album received upon release. Um, yeah, okay, it said critics, so that seems right. So the only part that I'm not sure about here is that middle part. I, it, it feels just kind of from my memory that they do talk about the approach. Uh, they combined things, right? That might be the, the approach that they took, but um, I'm not gonna worry about the details quite yet. Let's see what other choices bring, and then we can go back and examine things a little bit more closely. So choice B, it mentions a collection of spoken word poems. Yeah, okay, I feel like it, it did do that. Distinguishes one poem as being an exemplar of the album. So did it mention one particular poem? No, it did not, right? It talks about things that the different poems do. The, the title that we get there is not the poem. It is the, the collection. So no, it does not do that. So I'm already going to stop reading. And for those of you who are worried about time, this might be one of those places where if you're really confident that halfway through a choice, it says something that you know is not true, you can just kind of stop reading. But one of the reasons that I thought this might be a hard question is these answer choices are long and they're long because each answer choice is kind of like three separate answer choices combined. So once I hit one that's wrong, it doesn't matter what the others say. So let's kind of follow that advice and move on to C. It summarizes the efforts to produce a collection of spoken word poems. Does it though? Does it summarize the efforts? Not in that first sentence, right? I mean, maybe in the second one, I don't know. Presents biographies of two people who worked on the album and speculates about the meaning behind the poetry. <sighs> the biographies, like, do I really learn about these people? I mean, it says their names. It says an accomplished poet and writer of prose, that's Raymond Antrobus, but is that really a biography to just kind of say what the person does? So I, I don't know, maybe I keep this around. But these feel like they're off. It feels like that's not really what's happening there. I, you know, I could see some overlap with the passage with this choice, but I don't feel like it's really doing that. And is it really speculating behind the, about the meaning? Maybe the critics suggest that this is what it's doing. I don't know. I don't love it, but we'll keep it. D, it connects two artists to the same spoken word poetry project, maybe. Uh, it explains the extent of their collaboration on each poem. Mm, did it really? It's again, it's not separating out particular poems and then provides an overview of the technique used to produce the work. Well, it does talk about the technique in the middle here. I don't think it's the last thing. And so it explains the extent of their collaboration um, on each poem. Again, I, I, I think maybe generally speaking, it says it's combining this Antrobus's spoken words with Brennan's uh, audio elements. Is that the extent of their collaboration? I, again, I, this kind of feels like C where like, I can kind of stretch it to make it work, but there are things in A that I, I kind of knew right away worked, right? So let's go back to A. It introduces a collaborative spoken word poetry project. What is the spoken word poetry project? It is the first time I wore hearing aids, which is a collaboration with someone else. So is it collaborative? Is it spoken word poetry? Yeah, all those things are literally just said in that first sentence. So that definitely checks off. Now, does it detail the approach taken to produce the work? This is maybe similar to some of the things I wasn't so sure about in choices C and D is, is like, it feels maybe, I got to prove this. So let, let's see, does it, what is the approach taken? Well, they combined Antrobus's spoken words with the Brennan's fragmented audio elements. 
Um, is that detailing the approach? I think so. It seems fine to me. And then it provides an example of a critique the album received upon release. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think that's right. I mean, critic critique, you can't get much closer than that. And what's the what's the critique? Well, critique doesn't always also need to be a bad word. Critique can just mean that you're kind of um, doing like literary criticism. You're kind of analyzing it rather than saying it's good or bad. Um, and that's kind of what's going on here. They're analyzing it. They're trying to think about what it does. It questions the function of sound. I would be pretty sure that A is right here. And, and that would certainly be enough to move on if this were in the real test. Like, I, I feel like I've proven all those points. I don't know that I've necessarily proven C and D wrong. They kind of felt off to me. But did I find a specific spot that like, no, that's the that's the problem with it? No, I'd love to do that. But in the sake for the sake of time on a real test, I wouldn't. Let's go back, though, since we've got unlimited time for this kind of explanation video and see what we can do. So C, it summarizes the efforts to produce a collection of spoken word poems. I don't think it does, at least not at first. Maybe that's the second sentence there in the middle. But it's not summarizing the efforts in the first sentence. It's just kind of saying what they did, that they collaborated. I don't I don't think that that's talking about their efforts, right? I'd want to know maybe like how hard they worked, how long it took, what st specific steps they did. Um, it, I do not think it presents biographies, right? I mean, a biography is like a, a long story about who a person is, right? If you ever go to like a bookstore and look at the biography section, how long are those books? They're, they're big, thick books. This is saying that, Antrobus is an accomplished poet and writer of prose. I don't even know how old he is, right? I don't, I don't know anything about this guy than just this one uh, spoken word poetry album he has. Um, who the heck is Ian Brennan? He's a producer. Is that a biography? Just saying someone's job title? I don't think so. So I would say this right here is the part that kind of fails for me and speculates about the meaning. Maybe, but like, you got to get the fact that it's like critics doing that. I don't know. I don't love the last part, but I think it's that second part in the middle of choice C that really knocks it out for me. Looking at D, it connects the two artists to the same spoken word poetry project. Sure, it does. It says they collaborated, so I'm okay with that part. Uh, explains the extent of their collaboration on each poem. Again, this is kind of a quantifier trap that I've really just noticed because I'm so in tune with those particular types of traps. It, it doesn't talk about their extent on each poem. It talks about their their overall collaboration and what that looked like, and then provides an overview of the technique used to produce the work. That, I think it does, but I don't think it does it at the end. I think that's what it's doing in the middle. This feels like sentence two to me, but notice they're putting it in the place of like where sentence three is in the passage. So I think this is just inserting something in the middle that's not there. Everything else maybe checks out, but I don't think that that middle piece is there. They're not talking about each poem, right? I don't I don't know th th what each poem is like. They're only ever grouped together. So I do think I can prove C and D wrong, but I think, you know, for me, this is a question where A is more provably right, and that's easier. And a lot of times with, with these reading questions, that's what we're trying to do, right? Is the best case scenario is we can prove the right answer right, and we can also prove each of the wrong answers wrong. But for the sake of time, sometimes one of those paths is easier than the other. And we might just choose the one and, and go with the path of least resistance, and that's that. And so in this case, I think it's easier to prove the right answer. But regardless, proof is always what we're looking for. Proving answers, not just feeling them, proving them.